in this video lecture part 7 we are learning about how to measure the tree height by a non instrumental method in my earlier video lectures we learned about the ocular estimation then in non instrumental we learned about how to measure the tree height by shadow method in this video lecture i'll be teaching you how to measure the tree height by a single pole method that is also a non instrumental method this is based on the geometrical principle of similar triangles now single pole method this single pole method is very important and we can also do it if we don't have any instrument what we have to do is we have to take one pole uh, we have to take one pole this is we are taking one pole a pole of 1.5 meter and then this pole we are making a similar triangle here we are trying to make this pole equal to this length up to my eye length i high this is my eye here so i'll make it a similar triangle here so holding a pole like this at 90 degree so that is very important we make an angle here like this this is the angle here we make an angle here so in this single pole method like this we are holding one pole straight and this this part we are observing from this eye and covering this entire where I am holding at C part we are I am trying to cover this entire part of this pole to the entire tree so we make an angle here if you see this length from D from my I to C and from C to E this D to C this is my I when I am holding is C and this is the pole tip is E is similar so this is the geometrical principle of geometric principle of similar triangle where two sides are equal where two sides are equal so what we do so we can see this is the formula here a b is tree height this is a tree height a b is a tree height here this is a tree height we don't know this height so what we will do is equal to d b d b is my I, where i am my i and the dist horizontal distance up to the tree base is db and ec is the pole length from where i am holding and dc is my hand where i am holding to my eye so this is equal ec is equal to dc whatever value i get here whatever value i get here are equal so they will cross it this and whatever is left is db this horizontal distance so this value is that one if you calculate it now, uh, a bit confusing, I hope. It's better to go in the field, and in the field, I'm going to demonstrate it very nicely and we'll understand how to measure a tree height by a single pole method. Now we will learn about how to take the height of a tree by a single pole method. This method is based on the geometrical principle of uh, similar triangles. So we will take uh, any one pole of a length of uh, 1.5 meter so let's measure it it is already been in 1.5 meter yeah 1.5 meter so we'll take uh, any pole of 1.5 meter i made it white so that uh, we can easily uh, make a sight from the tip of the pole to the tip of the tree so this is the tree behind so we will measure it by a single pole method this is 1.5 meter now what we will do with this one I will take this pole of 1.5 meter long and then I will calibrate it because we are doing on the geometrical principle of similar triangles now what I'll do I'll hold it where I'll hold it, I'll hold it in such a way, not in the middle, not in the top. I'll hold it to my eye length. So this is my eye here and this is my hand. So what is the distance from my eye from here to the where I'm holding should be equal. This distance from this tip of the pole to the uh, this where I'm holding and my hand to my eye should be equal. Should be equal because this is the geometrical principle of similar triangle so this length and this length should be equal now let's see what is the length the length is 75 centimeter so 
I'll mark it here. So I have marked here. 75 centimeters from here to here and 75 centimeters from here to here to my eye. So I'm holding here exactly at this point of 75 centimeter of similar length to triangle of two sides are similar. So now what is the next step? What we will do? But why we are taking 1.5 meter pole? Just because uh, below side it is giving uh, us to balance uh, to make it 90 degrees. So the 90 degrees is very important. Neither I should make it like that. Neither I should make it, make it like that. Then what I will do the next step. Next step we will measure this tree height. We will hold this pole straight arm like this. Straight arm like this. And then we will observe from my eye to the tip of this pole the tip of the pole to the tip of the tree and then match tip of the pole to the tip of the tree and try to match this my thumb where 75 centimeters length is there or the base of this thumb exactly where I'm holding to the base of the tree and then I'll try to cover the entire tree by the tip of this pole to the base of this one with the tip of the tree to the base that one going to and fro and with one eye closed I will try to cover the entire tree with this pole of 75 centimeter from tip of the pole to the tip of the tree base of the pole where I'm holding to the base of the tree wherever it covers I will measure the horizontal distance this is my thumb this is 75 centimeter you can see I'm holding here and I'm putting the at the base this thumb so it is straight but when I see the top, oh my God, it is too much more. So I have to match it. So I have to, I'm going forward, forward, forward to match it. Forward. Let's match it. I'm going forward, forward. Yeah. Without moving my head, I have to see only with my eyes. Oh, it is more in length. I have to go back. I don't need to move my head, only my eyes. Going back, back, back. No, no, I need to go forward. Little more ahead. Yeah, need more. Somewhere here, I hope. Yeah, nearly tip is bit near one more step. Yeah, exactly here is my tip of the pole with the tip of the tree base is with this thumb base here. So where I'm standing, I will measure the horizontal distance here where I'm standing from here. Okay, as Dr. Singh is going to take the horizontal distance uh, from the tree base to the pole uh, already uh, Dr. Singh has measured uh, the pole length uh, mm, similar triangles that is uh, the pole from where he was holding to the tip was uh, 75 centimeter or we can say uh, 0.75 meter or the distance from the holding of hand up to the eye was uh, 0.75 so this 0 0.75 0 0.75 as I told you is the isosceles triangles similar triangle so this uh, as that you can see uh, we can cut down this to both whatever is the horizontal distance as Dr. Singh is coming from the tree base uh, to this one will be the height obviously so let's see what is the height Dr. Singh yeah so we are coming to the horizontal distance yes. up to this pole mm -hmm. it is exactly yeah 25.5 25.5 5. somewhere the horizontal distance is 25.5 25 meters. meters so 25.5 meters is the height of a tree so just now we have seen that how easy it is to measure a tree height by single pole method because it is based on isosceles triangle that is a 
similar triangles are there when the similar triangles are there we got a value we first value we got is ec the pull length was uh, uh, 75 cm or uh, we can say 0.75 in meter and we got um, uh, this length of i from where i'm holding was again 0.75 and the horizontal distance from my i to this base db was 25.50 so as i calculate this by this formula ab is equal to bd over ec over dc so we cross this one we are getting the height of 25.50 so is a very simple how to measure the height of a tree by single pole method so i hope uh, this video lecture may be helpful for you please keep on watching my upcoming uh, video lectures on how to measure the tree height by instrumental method but before instrumental method i am going to teach you the different instruments what we are using what we will be using to measure the height keep watching thank you